salary 115,016 uh, rands, travel car allowance 10,000 rands, basic salary 91,666. welcome to the village the tech industry is what is back again <laughs> with some chest pains they are back again uh, but i know my engineers they, they are not giving up shame they are up there and another video from engineers uh, is coming soon and please do send your pay slip if you haven't already if you'd like to participate i also have another video coming up of it salaries okay not encouraging there but I will tell you why it's still not a bad idea to start where those guys have started. You know, the salaries are a bit low. However, it's still not a bad idea. Do look out for that one. So in this video, you can expect cloud engineer, data scientist, digital analyst, scrum master, and a software engineer. Let's start with a scrum master. <laughs> guys, a scrum master is someone that we can sort of call like a projects manager. Someone who liaises between the software engineers, the designers, Umutuje or the projects management, I think, unless there's another explanation. Okay. Hi Bonnie, I'm working as a scrum master for one of the large retailers. Uh, so I come from an engineering background, nine IT. I joined IT as a software tester. As I always tell you, software testing is one of those that can help you to penetrate this industry. Right, so they started as a software tester while working for an engineering firm. Uh, I have an incomplete engineering degree from an institution in Cape Town. I dropped out, okay. A Bachelor of Science from another institution, an ISTQB plus Scrum certifications. They have a total of 17 years of work experience with almost 10 years of being in tech since joining tech, okay. I have worked in retail and fin finance, right? So in case you are wondering, what is ISTQB? Is that certification? Yeah, but I think it's like a board exam for software testers. Uh, it's quite tough, but I know uh, quite a few people who are working as software testers, but they don't have this certificate yet. Okay, so let's see how much. This person, you guys, they have been working for a long time. <laughs> Uh, basic salary 115,016 uh, rands, travel car allowance 10,000 rands, and then there's something MA taxable 2,000 rands, ER paid insurance 800 rands, provident fund 8,626, current month 125, <laughs> 16 rand and 12 But guys, remember this person has 17 years of work experience. <laughs> I am getting chest pains already. Pay as you earn 36,311. And then there's other stuff going on. Deductions 55,529. Bank transfer 69,486. You know what? I am happy. I am not complaining. <laughs> Yo, guys, this person has been working for long, like, but 10 years in the tech industry and 17 years in total. No, but guys, yeah. That's not bad. Now, let's go to this software engineer. This software engineer holds a national diploma in information technology, uh, software development from uh, the different University of Technology. They have around six to seven years experience as a software engineer, and they recently joined this company. And they said, I must tell you, FYI, they did Metzlitz. <laughs> they did Metzlitz in high school, so there is hope for those doing it wouldn't advise anyone to do it though but so so you see there is hope but he's not advising okay now i'm saying the same thing there is hope but i'm not advising you to do medicine period <laughs> period period now let's see the pay slip and some sign on bonus something something basic salary ninety one thousand six hundred and sixty six Medical aid, 3,150. Total earnings, 94,816. Uh, tax paid, 20, 26,855. There is medical aid, 3.6. And I think this is pension fund, 6,875. Total deductions, 75,531. And then they pay of 57,289. <laughs> 
Okay, let's check out the sign on bonus uh, letter. They did attach the sign on bonus letter. Okay. So bonus payments, you will be entitled to a sign on bonus of 150,000 rands. Uh, they will be paid in installments. Right. Yo. Yeah, it should be guys. It should be and all I can say is Kumunandi Uku Funda. Right. Now let's go to this data scientist. Uh, the interesting part is that I only have a metric certificate. <laughs> okay, but you don't have a metric certificate. You have other you have other certificates. Okay. Yes, you've done your short courses. Those are your certificates, Pella guys. You can't say you only have metric. Can't I? Okay. Uh, I did go to university and started a become but dropped out after one year because of fees. I got my first opportunity as a junior data analyst at an investment management firm and worked my way up from there. <sighs> when I know you did some short courses. And guys, I'm going to check their LinkedIn before I publish this video and then tell you if there's some short courses in here, but they are short courses there. Okay, basic salary, 55,744. Total earnings, 55,744. Tax paid, 13,552. Total deductions, 13,730. And in a pay of 42,000 rands. Congratulations. But they said now they would like to maneuver, you know, of which I think they were just asking me about which degree they should go for because right now they are considering going back to school part-time to study accounting because they work closely with CASAs and actuaries in his like current role. Uh, they want to follow the CASA routes because they work mostly in risk management but also, guys, maybe you can share some advice with them, okay? I'm surprised that they say they are struggling now to move up. To move to where? Because <laughs> you only have three years of work experience. To move to where? Because <laughs> I don't think you want to be in management now. <laughs> okay, let's go to this digital analyst. They have a degree in business administration with four years of work experience. Guys, what is a digital analyst? Salary, guys, is in a Dubai um, currency. Yeah, I forgot the name of the currency, but basically monthly salary, 7,800, and then there's a bonus of 22,000. Monthly housing allowance, 4,550. Monthly transportation allowance, 650. Uh, remember, in Dubai, the salary is tax-free and you have to do your own taxes in South Africa. I'm not going to uh, get into that uh, when you get to 1.3 million and so on. Okay, I'm not going to get to that. This is 39,389. Uh, okay. Why did I expect more? Here we go again. Now I'm disappointed. Okay, let's see the 22,000 bonus. Guys, what is a digital analyst? 22,000 um, in MRS dirhams is 111,000 rands, but you are earning around 39,000 per month. It says here a digital analyst job description typically involves gathering, analyzing, and interpreting data from various digital platforms to improve business performance, optimizing digital marketing strategies, and enhance user experience. They use data insights to make informed recommendations and decisions, often focusing on maximizing con conversion rates and driving business sales. Oh, okay, so this job is more on the marketing side of things, so maybe this is why the salary is a bit low. <laughs> okay. 39,000 rands. Okay, it's text free, guys. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Let's move to the next one. Please like and share this video with someone that might need it. And don't forget to subscribe.
Now let's look at this cloud data engineer. <laughs> Let there be what? Be chest pains. <laughs> Because you know how we do it guys they are consulting in the united kingdom but they shared their older pay slips with us uh, when they were consulting in the united kingdom i think they don't want to share the current one because when i checked their linkedin they just joined this company recently so maybe this is why they didn't want to share their pay slip but around 2023 december they earned uh, 4564 uh, british pounds which comes to 102,000 rands and then previous month they had earned 5,796 British pounds exchange rate 22 rands and yeah amount payable out in South African rands was 132,000 rands obviously guys they have to do their own taxes all right now let's check their qualifications they have a BSc in Math and Stats, okay, and also postgrad diploma in Business Intelligence and Data Analytics, bracket Data Science. They did all this for at the University of the Western Cape. So yeah, guys, we've been saying sorry. <laughs> we've been saying sorry, <laughs> but the tech industry does not want to give us a break. But I am challenging engineers to keep them coming. To keep them salaries coming guys um if you'd like to join our group call this sunday we have a cloud engineer slash uh, devops uh, utk he's gonna be part of our monthly group calls with our get into tech guide our community you can check that out in the description box otherwise please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> now we are saying road to 100k subscribers and I'll share with you that day we reach 100k subscribers why this means so much to me otherwise guys I'll see you on the next video bye